So we're gonna bake little miniature golden fruit cakes. Not a real dark fruit cake, no. golden, because of the kinds of fruits that we're using, right? Exactly, and we're using uh, better quality. We're not using a lot of that diced cherry and... No, no, so. no, we're using uh, cranberries, right. golden raisins, no. apples, apricots. Right. Any citron in here? No, nope, but you got no, golden no raisins and... Blood. Yeah, pears, so. dried pears, um, and they're very, very finely chopped. You can do this by hand. It's hard to do it in the food process. Right? Yes, it sticks to the blade it and does. it kind of makes a mess. Yeah. If you get a nice... Um, sharp cleaver. Sharp knife, sharp cleaver, and you do use a little vegetable spray, it helps it go. So it there's six cups of dried fruit, and you can make up your own mix, by the way, and one and a half cups of chopped walnuts. Pecans, walnuts, mm. almonds, any okay. nut that you prefer. Yes. And the important part is using a very good quality brandy, like we always yes. say. You want to you want to use what you would drink, not necessarily what you would thin out your mm, paints so with. So good. One and a quarter cups of brandy. <laughs> right. And so soak all those fruits and nuts with the brandy. Right. And what are you mixing up? Um, I have um, a stick of butter and uh, three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar. Again, you could use dark brown. Um, the important part with this is, like, we start to soak our fruits right after Thanksgiving. Right. The longer you soak them, the better they are. You know, everything comes together, and it's it's more... So after we get the butter and the sugar nice and light and fluffy, we add the eggs in usually two or three additions. And this is just the creaming method that we use for cookies. Right. You use for, you know, chocolate chip cookies. Now, one of the tips that I have that if it starts to curdle and separate, you can actually take some of your flour a little bit. and it pulls it back together. So yeah. people see this and they say, oh, it doesn't look very good and they think they did something wrong. Well, once you do that, you can scrape down too. Yep. You can, yeah. you can go ahead. I'm just going to get okay. my dry ingredients together. It's uh, one and a half cups of flour, cinnamon, ground clove, and my favorite is the cardamom. All oh. warm spices. Oh, I love that. So, yeah, and you can, again, alter the spices according to your taste. If yes, you, exactly. If you want. And then we have the salt, most important part. You and salt, <laughs> and all desserts. I, this wasn't my John recipe, but they... taught me salt in ice cream, salt <laughs> in everything. Okay, so you want to get this in there. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. And then so here, that's your macerate. That's your macerated. This is fruit. what it looks like after it's been macerated for eight hours. Actually, I think the girls did this overnight in the kitchen. Yes. Now, there's two ways of doing it. We can get all of this into there, or we can get that into here. I think it'd be easier to get that into here. Yeah, I'll do that. Hang on, as soon as that gets mixed up. So it's a it's kind of a thick batter, but yes. uh, and you don't want to overbeat it. No, nope, that's it. You're done. Okay, done. Because it's going to continue to mix in here. Okay. Very nice. So you want to do that? Or? Sure. Okay. Now this is going to make six. This is going to make six. Okay. Now my um, oven, which we. We're using oh, you know what? The fruit, actually, look what happens. If you can see the difference, yep. uh, this has gotten to be a lot plumper, and uh, the colors changed slightly because of the addition of that uh, brandy. Now, we're using... Um, uh, I like your defined... <laughs> well, we have yes. to get going here. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, they don't like us very much. I know, but, but more, almost more fruit than batter, right? Yes, it's actually... Um, Probably more fruit than batter. Yeah, well, cer certainly. Just enough. Yes. So mm. if you want to just fill this, we use an ice cream scoop just to level this off and make it nice and uniform. Mix it up. It's okay. Okay. Okay, good. Now we have our oven preheated to 300 degrees. And are we going to cook it? right on a parchment lined baking sheet? And just in case. We're using these wonderful little um, giveaway um, uh, pans. They're made out of corrugated paper decorative with a little snowflake on them. You can get these at baking supply stores and they're really, really nice. And about two scoops yep. per. You know, you per can either use a spatula or give it a good tap on the table. Well, you, you want it to come out to be a nice loaf, right? Right. Okay. It goes for about 50 minutes at 300 degrees. Then we, we brush these with, again, a very good quality Here, brandy. This, this is how I brush. Watch, <laughs> watch how I brush. It's I brush. just pour. <laughs> that. Pour. That. That <laughs> and it soaks it up. I mean, I can't believe how much brandy these actually soak up. They do. And then melt a little bit of apricot jam for your glaze. <laughs> and because... then, yeah. Mm. <laughs> After it soaks up the liquid, um, you you have a little left over. You uh oh, can have it's dripping out one. Uh oh, yeah. one's dripping out. So we just brush it with a little warm apricot jam, and that kind of seals it, makes yes. it a little bit. 
And then you can decorate it with some of these beautiful dried fruits. Yeah, you know, see, I'm putting one apricot. Want to want to put more? Yeah, I can uh, put a little glaze and we right have, over that. Oh, green candy cherries. At the shop, we use whole almonds. Um, yes. A little angelica, which we had a hard time finding oh, this early oh, in the season. Oh, listen, I couldn't find any. We looked at every store. I'll get store. it for you. Oh, please I'll get, get it for me. You. Please get me some. Angelica is a is a stalk of a of a big herb plant, and but look how pretty this looks when it's decorated. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And it finishes it off.